In this tutorial, you will learn how to design and model non-circular gears in Blender. But first, some theory and math. A regular circular pair of gears can be conceptually represented by a pair of touching circles that roll against each other without slipping. These circles are known as pitch circles. In the point of contact, the instantaneous linear velocities of gear 1 and gear 2 are exactly the same. Since linear velocity equals angular velocity times radius, the following equation is true. Therefore, the ratio of omega 1 to omega 2 equals the ratio of r2 to r1. In circular gears, the radii are constant, and therefore the gear ratio, which is by definition the ratio of angular velocities, is also constant. In non-circular gears, things are quite a bit more complicated. Let gear 1's profile be defined by an arbitrary equation in polar coordinates, r1 is a function of phi1, where phi1 is the angle of rotation of gear 1. The linear velocities in the point of contact are still equal to each other, but the radii and angular velocities are now the functions of phi1, as follows. Since angular velocity is the derivative of the rotation angle with respect to time, we can rewrite this as follows. The time variable can be eliminated, as follows. Since the sum of the radii is constant, we can rewrite this as follows. From this formula, the angle of rotation of gear 2, phi 2, can be expressed as an integral. This equation allows us to obtain both the mounting distance A, and the profile of gear 2. Since this equation contains a generic function, r1 of phi 1, it can only be solved numerically. We have developed an online calculator, which does just that. It can be found at www.atvinta.com slash non-circular.html. The calculator takes the function r1, desired number of teeth, and other parameters as the input, and produces the pitch curves and raw outlines for both gears. For proper meshing, the gear profiles need to have their tooth tips rounded, as shown later. Here are a few examples. The n and m values, together, specify the desired pitch curve length ratio. Let's start modeling. Delete the default cube by pressing X. Press 7 on the numeric keypad to switch to the top view. Select 3D cursor as the pivot point. Go to the online non-circular gear calculator. Enter an equation in polar coordinates for the gear 1 profile. We will use 4 plus cosine of 3u plus sine of 2u. Enter 30 for the number of teeth. Click Calculate Script. Copy the script generated by the calculator to the clipboard. Back in Blender, open a new window. Select Text Editor as the window type. Press New. Copy the script from the clipboard. Press Run Script. The script has generated the pitch curves and raw gear outlines. As you can see, there is a slight overlap between the teeth of two gears. To fix it, we will apply the bevel tool to each tooth. Select gear 1. Press tab to enter the edit mode. Extrude upwards by 1 by pressing E, Z, 1, then enter. In the face select mode, select the tips of all teeth.
Press Ctrl B for bevel. Enter 10 for the number of segments. Press Tab to exit the edit mode. Do the same with Gear 2. Let's also get rid of this sharp edge. Let's turn gear 1 into a solid object. Select pitch 1. In the edit mode, switch to the vertex select mode and press F to create a face. Press I, to create an inset. Press X and delete the face. Select the outer loop of vertices and delete them. Press Tab to exit the edit mode. Select both the gear and pitch objects and join them together by pressing Ctrl J. Select these two rows of vertices and fill the gap between them by pressing Alt F for Beauty Fill. Select the inner row of vertices and extrude them upwards by 1. Select the outer row of vertices and fill the gap by pressing Alt F. Select everything and press Shift N to fix the normals. Press Tab to exit the edit mode. Repeat the same procedure for gear 2. Now, let's test these two gears for compatibility using Blender's Rigid Body Physics Engine. Select Gear 1. Press Shift S and select Cursor to Selected. Add a cylinder. Scale it down and move it up. This going to be our axis object for Gear 1. Add an empty. Move it up. This is going to be our hinge for gear 1. Add an empty. Rotate it around the Y axis by 90 degrees so that its X axis is vertical. This is going to be our motor. Select gear 2. Press Shift S and select cursor to selected. Add a cylinder and move it up. This is going to be our axis object for gear 2. Add an empty. This is going to be our hinge for gear 2. Open the physics tab. Make the gears and cylinders rigid bodies. For the gears, select mesh for shape and zero for margin. For the cylinders, select Passive for Type. For the empties with their Z-axes pointing upwards, select Hinge for Type under Rigid Body Constraint. Select its respective gears and cylinders for the first and second objects.
For the empty with its x-axis pointing downwards, select motor for type, and check the angular checkbox. Select gear 1 and cylinder 1 for the first and second objects. Press space to start the simulation. And that concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.